So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can read PDF file using Python programming. So hey guys, this is Bishwet and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's start with the video. So the module that I'm going to show you is the Py PDF2 module. So before starting with this video, I just want to tell that reading PDF into Python programming is not like 100% reliable. So there might be cases where you might see text get getting missed out or maybe there is some issue with the formatting or maybe your pictures are not getting picked up or any kind of issues might happen so it's not very reliable but we can still utilize this module and it it works for us like very nicely so i will show you how it is done so i'll open my jupyter notebook so I list out all my conda environments, conda env list. And now I will use Python 3.11. I'm showing you just to know that which particular version of Python I am using. And just make sure that you have installed Jupyter Notebook. Fine. But since I have installed Jupyter Notebook in my particular environment, I'm just going to start it. Yeah, since I'm using two screens, it opened up in the other one. Uh, fine. So I'll create a new Python notebook. Yep. So I'll just verify what are the files that are present. Okay. And before that, I want to show you which particular PDF files I am I'm going to demonstrate. So I have two PDF files that I created. Okay, so I have the ocean and which is over here so it contains images and you can see it contains text so they are like is a different this is a different kind of formatting you can see we have spaces over here okay and also i have put the page number over here so let's see that how it is able to read all of these things so i'll open my Yep, so I am going to read the ocean.pdf file, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is, so first I'll open the ocean.pdf. And since our PDF file is a binary file, so I'm going to give the mode as RB, read binary. And this will be a PDF file object, okay? Now the next thing that I will do is I'll write PDF file reader. Okay. And I am going to, okay. I have not imported the module itself. Fine. So I'll import by PDF to just make sure this is case sensitive. Okay. So while installing P should be caps, Y should be small, PDF should be caps and here is two. Okay, so I've imported the pi PDF. Now here, what I have to do, pi PDF dot PDF PDF reader, and I will pass the file object inside this. Fine. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a particular page, maybe the first page. Maybe I'll read this particular page. So for that, I have to pick up the, that particular page. So I have the PDF file reader dot pages, okay, and zero. So dot pages, this particular object, if I show you, okay, so this is a PDF, uh, this is a PDF file object, right? So if I do dot pages, it is returning the pages object, fine. So now there are multiple pages. So I'm just going to select the first page, maybe. So I'll, I'll do zero. And if I do shift enter, it is able to pick up the first page. Okay, so these are the metadata of our PDF. But let's, before picking up the first page, wouldn't it be better if I show you how it picks up the number of pages that it had so let, let me first demonstrate the number of pages that is present. So it should be, if I do number of pages, fine. It is nothing but 
it's linoff pdf reader file reader dot pages that's it and if i do shift and enter see it is giving the number of pages fine and now in this number of pages i want to select the first page so i i will do pdf file reader pages dot zero that means it's it selects the first page okay so if you want we can print it this will print as an object okay it doesn't make sense much to us but what we will do i will save this to a variable okay the first page i'll save this to a variable now what i am going to do first page dot uh, extract text fine and i will save that maybe i will print that directly or uh, yeah that will be fine if i do shift and enter see it is able to read the first page right we can verify that very simply right if i open the particular web page you can see it starts with the ocean our blue planet fine just ignore this number of page this is the print statement that we have done over here if i ignore this and now if i execute it okay so you can see the ocean our beautiful blue planet which is the oceans our beautiful blue planet and since there is like as i said it is not reliable but still it is able to pick up the page name at first that's how the pdf file is formatted so it is present at the bottom in our pdf file but here you can see it's present at the top fine now you can see the image got skipped because we are extracting text right not images so it got skipped now if i match the particular text so it is able to read the first page right so if i match the last line that is present so it has some of the most important organisms in the oceans are phytoplankton so similarly we can match some of the most important organisms in the oceans are phytoplankton it's fine so this matches perfectly fine now if you want to read maybe uh, many pages like so definitely we can do that it's pretty simple like if you want to read the whole pdf file so the immediate thing that will hit your mind is to change this particular indexing so if i make this as one and if i print it so it's see it's it is able to pick up the second page right now if i do two it is able to pick up our third page and if i do three we are supposed to get an error and yeah index error we are getting it so there is one thing that just came in my mind so while doing dot pages so this particular object it takes indexes and based upon the indexing it is able to pick up the pages fine so now you can see for the first page the indexing is zero for the second page the indexing is one so it does not matter if for example if you have like 43 page number over here and 44 page number over here okay it does not matter because the first page in the, in the pdf file this particular page is is indexed as the zeroth page okay so if you do zero then you, then you are indexing the first page and likewise if i do one then i am indexing the second page okay this does not matter okay this page number does not matter only this matters if your pdf is starting for any page like if it is starting for page 50 okay you are not supposed to put page 50 over here fine this is this starts from zero and it ends till till the uh, number of pages that you have fine so for example if i want to read all of the pages okay so what i will do uh, I will uncomment this so I have three pages fine now I'll just instead of doing all of this I will write a for loop so for page maybe I'll get some space for page pdf file reader dot pages and since this is an object okay we need to find the length of it okay now we all know since this is an integer okay obviously we can't we can't uh, use this integer directly so let me save this somewhere over here okay so i will do number of pages equal to 
number of pages equal to okay len of len of uh, pdf file number of pages so i'll i'll remove this part and i will do number of pages uh, now i think if i put them in a variable that will look little good fine and this number of pages i will take i will do range of number of pages fine now we are just going to iterate on the number of pages that we have so i'll just instead of one in, instead of hard coding over here i'll just put page okay and instead of first page let me make this variable correctly like i'll just do page and if i do shift and enter you can see number of pages that we have is three it is printing because we have given a print statement over here and see it is able to read the first page right it is able to read the second page and likewise it was able to read the third page and now you can verify this data like for the last page it printed it is up to all of us and if i go in my pdf you can see the last line it says it is up to all of us right and even for the second page also you can see plastic pollution is major issue with okay and if i go back so the second page here the plastic pollution is a major issue with now you can see there is some spacing issues for example for the ocean some space is missing and maybe if, uh, here also major here some space is missing so you can see this is not much like reliable i should say like it, it is having some issues with the package but see but we are able to get the data right we are able to get the data so this is what like we sh we are able to do it so this is how you are able to read pdf using python so in the next uh, set of videos i will tell you how to extract images if you have any images in your python how to extract the images how to encrypt your file how to decrypt your file and how to create a pdf file using python and many more so if you like this video do press that like button as always thank you for watching i'll see you in an awesome upcoming programming video